how are you dealing with that? And even though you were obviously a, a starter last year, how is the approach to that different than it might have been previously? Um, this is tough. It is tough, these last two games. One of the biggest things that we've stressed all fall camp and early part of the season is, you know, cutting down on the mistakes and playing sharp and executing to the best of our ability, which we, we know how to do. Um, it, it's hard sometimes knowing that we can go out there and um, do, do great things and make great plays and, and be sharp, but it, it's hard sometimes when, when we don't do that. Is there a silver lining knowing that hey, if we don't make these mistakes, we're right in these games, we probably win these games. Is that encouraging in a kind of indirect way? It is. It is. It's very um, reassuring to us knowing that if we don't make these mistakes, we can win these games because we know we've been in these last two games. We've been in the last two games with mistakes, and we've been in the last two games not playing the best we can. And we know that if we come out and play the best we can, we'll you know, win these games and ultimately go to where we need to be. Can you pinpoint what over the last two games, I mean, double digit leads in both those games, what's, I mean, is the floodgates just open and you just can't stop it? Is the snowball coming? We just have to play for 60 minutes. We have to play for four quarters. Coaches have stressed that, and that's the biggest thing. We haven't played well in the third quarter in terms of an offense. Coach Montgomery said that yesterday, and we need to focus on that. We need to focus on our weaknesses and work to get them better. Is this Saturday a must win for this group, do you think? I think it is. And our back's against the wall. Coach Wolf said it yesterday. We've lost two heartbreaking losses, just like you guys have said. And we know that we can win these games. The conference is wide open right now, but there's not much more room for error. Maybe you talk about you, know, you, you bouncing back from your first bad game, which pretty good game, and how much that helps you. Uh, it's good. It definitely is good. Dom had a great game. He helped me out a lot, made some big plays for us. All the receivers did. Uh, Darius uh, Bellamy, he played great. Rushing the ball, you know, he may have not seen all the holes or whatever, but he used his feet. He's got great speed and great power, and those legs, he, he just keeps it running. He, he did a great job, and that helps me out a lot in terms of the offense. It, it helped me out. Did you, I mean, was there a, a conscious effort to get down more involved, or is that just how it worked out? I think that's just how it worked out. I try to focus the most on just taking what the defense gives me, and Dom had great matchups. Uh, one 50 yard touchdown, he had a great matchup. We took a shot, and Dom made a great play. There's always adversity in football games, and when you face adversity this Saturday, at some point or another in a game, how do you go about safeguarding against, hey, here we go again, or we can't let this happen again? I mean, as a leader, do you say something? Is that something you address as a team? I think as a leader, the biggest thing is to remind the team that we're doing this together. We're going to be on the road. Uh, fans are going to be against us. The other team's going to have us in a hole at some point. And we, we just have to know that we've been in this situation before, and the only way we can get out of it is sticking together. Is it kind of part of the process of this team maturing? I mean, what you've gone through the last couple of weeks? Yeah, it does help us. We, we may not always like it, um, the losses, but there are something to learn um, from losing. Uh, we don't like it at all. We, we'd much rather win. It's more fun to win um, in terms of the week's a lot shorter when we win. You know, it's more fun on campus, but um, there are things to learn, and, and we know that. We, need, we, we know that we need to learn from our mistakes, and that's going to help us as well. I heard the coach is always straight with us. We're very straight. What's he like with you guys? He's straight, if not more straight. You know, mm -hmm. he gives it to us like it is. He, he's not afraid to call us out. He knows we're not going to take things personal. Uh, he told us yesterday. You know, he loves us, and we, we love him, and we're we're in this together. No matter what, win or lose, we're in it together. When we have success, we're going to do it as one. When we, we lose, we can do it as one. You're facing a team that's, that leads the conference in, in defense, uh, giving up I think just over 16 points a game. Mm -hmm. Just what, what makes them so good because North Dakota State is tied with them for yeah. the league. So are they similar at all? They, they are. They're both very tough and very physical. Just like uh, I think I've said it every week, every other team in this league, they're, they're very tough, and that's what makes them a great defense. We know that we're going to have to match that and come out and cut down on the mistakes and be a lot sharper. Specifically on defense, what do they do? They are um, they're an odd front team, so they have three down linemen, and they play, play around a lot with their linebackers. and. They match up with our receivers. They'll, they'll give us one-on-one -on -one matchups. And our receivers, I have all the faith in the world. They'll get good releases, run great routes, and they'll get up. Can you just touch on the, the challenges of going now onto the road for two? Uh, you're going to a place now where the program, over the last few times, in six straight games, you've, uh, you've won uh, six straight against Western Illinois, three straight in McComb. Just the challenges of going on the road there. Uh, that, that stat does give me a little bit of confidence. But um, it, it's going to be tough. Every road game has been tough. Uh, going to State College and playing in Pennsylvania and then 
playing in Missouri State. That wasn't you know the best game for us, but we've been in those games. We were in the game early with Penn State. We know that we can play on the road, and we have. So this is obviously an offensive conference. I mean, it's, you look at the scores. I yeah. guess it makes it a quarterback friendly conference. You, you enjoy this challenge each week. You want to try to throw forty yeah. points. Yeah, it is fun. It is fun knowing that we can go out every week. Um, in this conference and score a lot of points, we can light up the scoreboard. But I think I think as an offense, we could do that in any conference in the nation. Talk about your uh, my stitches. Uh, it was uh, it was on the personal foul. I've had stitches plenty of times before. Uh, the funniest thing was uh, my dad. I, I've had stitches many times before, and my dad has always you know said, "Don't do this. You're going to get stitches. And don't do this. And you're you're going to cut up sometime." This was the first time in my whole life he didn't say anything. And I got stitches. <laughs> Is this, just a, excuse me, is this just a more physical, and I don't mean physical maybe per se for a game, but like after plays there seems to be some chipping. Is, do you see more of that this year? A little bit, yeah. I mean, we know we're a passionate offense, we're a passionate defense, and we're a passionate football team. And I think that's um, in regards to Coach Wolford. You know, he's a passionate guy. And we come out and we've worked so hard and we've left so much out on the field that when things don't always go our way, we want it to work. To I mean, do, you, do you see it more with both teams? Maybe not you guys, but do you just see it, see it more week in, week in and week out? You know, yeah, I, I guess you can say that. We're a big conference, you know, and we're one of the best in the nation. And the biggest thing is if you win this conference, you're going to be one of the best teams in the nation. If you go out and you're this conference championship in Missouri Valley, you have a chance to win the national title. And everybody knows it.